Hello friends, welcome to a new watercolor tutorial video. In this video, we will make this crowd of figures uh, from few splashes of colors. I will explain the entire process uh, uh, throughout this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell notification icon. So let us get into the video. So here I am using a cold pressed watercolor paper and uh, the size is approximately A4 size. So I am using a soft uh, round brush, a big uh, big one and loading it with a lot of colors, primarily in blue and uh, maybe I have used some leftover colors on the palette. It's uh, slightly a grayish blue color and I am splashing in such a way that it will roughly make a crowd of figures. That is my initial idea. So look at this, look at this, uh, the forms on the paper and uh, try to see uh, you know, a lot of figures in that. Uh, let your imagination work and uh, try to see a lot of figures in that. I'm taking out some extra cloud, I mean accumulation of paint. Uh, I'm still looking at the figures and see, I mean the shapes and trying to see figures uh, in those uh, shapes. Okay, do that. Pause if you want, you pause the video and uh, have a look. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm getting some idea. I'm 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 getting some idea of uh, uh, lots of figure wa uh, walking, and uh, maybe this is one figure. I'm using some uh, dark uh, color to represent the upper body, and here I haven't decided about the color of the body. I'm just uh, making I mean marking the head. So kind of uh, uh, the, that uh, uh, the marking I do on the paper just uh, to remind myself that okay this is head probably and uh, uh, I mean just uh, just an indication just I mean the the ideas are slowly getting developed here. I I feel that this particular one uh, can be made as a female figure. Okay, I mean, it's at this tiny level, uh, all these tiny uh, suggestive uh, figures, uh, it is hardly, I mean, uh, any difference between male and female figures because we are not going for details. Only we, you, we have to suggest if it is a male or female by the sort of apparel or maybe the contours, that uh, the shape, etc. Right. This could be blue color. See, deciding the color is, I find it more challenging than uh, finding the shape and, uh, I mean, defining the objects. This could be, okay. Now that uh, some of um, upper bodies are there, let us make some uh, lower bodies. This looks like a lady is uh, probably walking with the one side little tilted, uh, tilted towards the left. And uh, this could be a guy who is coming towards us. And uh, see here I am using uh, a little bit of a, a dry brush work. So, uh, the brush that I am using for this is a Chinese uh, a calligraphy kind of brush. You, I think you get it all over the place and uh, you get it in uh, decent art shops. Uh, these have a good tip, I mean it's a soft round brush and uh, it has a good tip and uh, if if you can manage you can get good uh, chisel edge also okay so so that you can make good lines and uh, a good point so this is the initial definition okay so we have so a firm ground now couple of figures and we need to fill up the gap and create more and more figures so that my idea is to uh, generate a crowd a, a group of people it doesn't have to be precise okay so if you are finding value in this video in this tutorials please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification and uh, i will be posting uh, more videos at least uh, i'm targeting at least a week at least one video per week and i might even post more so here i'm just suggesting some uh, some shapes and the idea is to suggest a group of uh, a crowd of people there on the right side. Okay. 
right now these are just the silhouette sort of thing and it doesn't have too much of uh, details and i am not planning to add details to be frank so that is that is not the idea so this crowd of people doesn't need to have too much of details little suggestion for the head or hand etc uh, would do the action is more important now uh, before giving the details of the figure i thought i will give some context uh, some some additional elements to sort of uh, give it a sense of uh, completion okay this is some sort of an a large red umbrella or something i mean uh, i really do not know what it is called so if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions or uh, input for future videos please write them in the comment box below and uh, see this uh, kind of uh, videos takes uh, a lot of effort a lot of editing in terms of uh, uh, i mean uh, editing the video itself and adding voice overs and all those things so if you if you can share your support in terms of uh, likes and comments and uh, shares so it will be it will be a great motivation to me because uh, as i told it takes a lot of effort right now this seems to be a kind of a, a scene now uh, what about adding some vertical element see the this idea is primarily of uh, uh, practicing figures and uh, don't worry about making it uh, very, very accurate or very precise are very beautiful it is just uh, the idea is to develop your ideas okay you, you should be able to uh, gain confidence uh, by practicing these uh, gain confidence in making figures but at the same time uh, we are also developing other uh, uh, ideas associated to this so like uh, 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 some some ideas of uh, how to better the composition how to make it look little little more convincing all those uh, by adding this context elements so uh, the the more you practice these kind of things i think uh, we will be we will gain more and more confidence and uh, as you know uh, watercolor works the the most important thing uh, that impacts the the result of your watercolor is uh, not the quality of uh, paper or brush or whatever i personally feel it is the confidence with which you handle the medium okay and uh, to gain such a confidence you need to do a lot of practice so these are such practices so these tutorials are not like how to make certain things how to make a tree or how to make a cloud etc this is some kind of an uh, more uh, kind of uh, uh, it is a visual uh, i mean thinking uh, how you develop that those things are been targeted by these uh, tutorials uh, i will suggest some figures i am suggesting some i mean the faces etc now by using a thick uh, pigment of red orange okay this is just for kind of uh, adding some details uh, okay this gives an idea of uh, who is facing which side uh i think we are pretty much close to a stage where we can say that it is done okay this is some last uh, some final touches where before we call it as done so yeah i think uh i think that is uh, that's it maybe an, a small uh, street lamp and these are all dry brush works okay dry brush works uh, gives a lot of uh, uh, interest okay i think this uh, this tutorial is uh, completed now so hope you there was something for you to learn in this particular video please do practice and uh, by doing this kind of practice as i suggested as i told earlier you gain a lot of confidence and those con that confidence will improve your future watercolor works so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, we'll see you in the next video bye bye